leafy, colorful green. Hey everyone, welcome back or welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm Amy Lee Foster and I'm super happy you joined me today. So I wanna do this video and basically talk to all of you out there with autoimmune conditions about the autoimmune protocol. What is it? Why try it? How long have I been on it? And what has it done for me? Autoimmune disease is something of an epidemic here in the States. It's estimated 50 million people suffer from an autoimmune condition. Environment, diet, lifestyle, all huge factors in whether or not you're um, likely to develop one of these conditions. And autoimmune disease is directly linked to our food choices and um, how we decide to live our lives. Most importantly for those of us who actually already suffer from an autoimmune condition is the fact that by modifying our diet, our lifestyle, managing our stress, our sleep, kind of activities that we do, we can greatly reduce the symptoms and sometimes even reverse the autoimmune condition. So it's pretty awesome because if you're anything like me at one point in your life, you may have felt like you are a victim to your condition and that it's managing you instead of you managing it. So awesome news is we can actually start to take control of our lives just by managing food, stress, sleep, and all of those things. Right for a little while and hang out. And then I got caught in a storm trying to rush back home as quickly as possible. So if you have Hashimoto's, it uh, your immune system starts to attack your thyroid. If you have Graves disease, like I have also had, it attacks the soft tissue behind the eyes. Or if you had or have rheumatoid arthritis, it starts to attack the tissue of the joints. Autoimmune protocol, or AIP, is basically a hypoallergenic diet. You actually give your immune system a chance to calm down and your body starts to have the opportunity to heal itself. There's basically only two categories of food on the autoimmune protocol. So there is food that nourishes you, and then food that causes inflammation. So unfortunately, there there's no cheat days. There's no sometimes foods. It's like all or nothing. You have to be committed. Otherwise, it's, it's not going to work. But what's really great is that it's really not forever. And once you start to learn how your body reacts to certain things, once you start to be able to do a slow reintroduction, you have a much more varied diet, you can have some of your favorite things again, and what's really awesome is even if it doesn't work right now for you, you know, you have a, a reaction to something, um, it doesn't mean that in six months after your body's had the opportunity to heal a little bit more that you won't be able to bring it back in. So it's pretty, it's pretty awesome. How it works is you eliminate all of the foods that are most uh, common sources of inflammation. So grains, nightshades, dairy, seeds, nuts, soy, weird oils, like uh, things that are high in omega-6, like canola oil, safflower oil, processed sugar as well. Also, uh, they recommend eliminating coffee. I did eliminate coffee and I've actually recently been able to reintroduce it, so that's been pretty cool. I only have it once in a while though, like if I'm going out and I just want to have coffee. I definitely don't drink it every day. So after you cut those things out, you really start concentrating on eating nutrient dense foods. So lots of veggies, all the kinds of veggies except for nightshades, quality protein, fruits, healthy fats coconut, olive, and avocado oils, great options there. And then you say super strict for 30 to 90 days. And 
my personal experience, I, I stuck out the 90 days. I really started to get the most like healing, like starting to feel really, really amazing towards the end of month two. So I, I really recommend going the whole three months through the elimination uh, phase. So then you start reintroducing food one at a time. I found that a lot of my symptoms actually don't start to show up till around day two or three. Um, so it's definitely worthwhile to wait. Uh, the other and super important aspect of AIP, not just diet, is lifestyle factors. Making sure that you get enough sleep has, or it's huge, it really is. That's like my, my number one thing. Personally, I have been on AIP for nine months now, reintroducing slowly over the last six months. I've been able to add back in berries, um, seeds, and nuts. Also spices that are made from seeds, um, oils that are made from seeds and nuts. Okay, so here I have my lunch. I just made a little bit of roasted rutabaga, red onion, carrot, some spinach. There's some bacon in there. And then there is also um, some roasted chicken. So I'll toss a little bit of salt and olive oil and it's delicious. And then what has AIP done for me? I I literally feel better than I've ever felt in my entire life. I have clarity and direction. I have lost 45 pounds and uh, dropped from a size 16 to a 10, which has been totally amazing. And I wasn't anything I expected going into this because um, if you have Hashimoto's or thyroid issues, you know, no matter how hard you may have tried at some point in your life to lose weight, like nothing ever happens. So I definitely didn't go into this thinking I was going to lose weight and I was completely shocked when I started losing weight and it just came off. I feel like I have control over my food. I don't feel like any like compet, like I'm not compelled. I don't binge anymore at all. I have like a really healthy relationship with food and a very healthy relationship with my body, which is something really beautiful that's come out of doing this protocol and just really taking care of myself. My symptoms have really reduced a lot. Um, I only get migraines now if I don't get enough sleep. Um, the pain in my eye has reduced quite a lot. Um, most days I have no pain in my eye. If I reintroduce food and it doesn't go well, that is the, my number one first sign is the, like that pressure in my eyes that like basically glaucoma. I'm looking forward to seeing how much more healing uh, will happen within my body over the next uh, few months to a year. So if you are suffering from an autoimmune condition, I cannot recommend enough starting the autoimmune protocol immediately. If you have any questions about it, just uh, write it down below. I'd be happy to read your comments and answer. And if you are interested in autoimmune disease, um, autoimmune protocol, and how my life has completely changed over the last nine months, hit subscribe. Have a wonderful day.